Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to debug and optimize a slow page or in fact slow SQL queries, eloquent queries, but from two angles. Usual one angle as I see in all the tutorials and all the videos is about the amount of SQL queries, so n plus one problem it's called, or eager loading, and I will talk about that for those of you who don't know, but the emphasis here is on the amount of queries and on slowness of one particular query. But what is often overlooked is the amount of data being sent and the amount of RAM memory used on the backend server. And I will show you that in the exact example. So demo project with list of hotels. Every hotel belongs to a city and every hotel has a lot of bookings. In the database I've seeded bookings, 20,000 rows, cities, 100 cities, and 500 hotels with random data. And on the home page, let's imagine we want to view hotel, hotel belongs to a city, and the amount of bookings for a particular week. And if we load that page, it's loading very slowly, but not just because the amount of queries is big. I've also installed Laravel debug bar to debug the amount of queries, and that debug bar is loading really slowly because of the amount of data. And from the database point of view, in eloquent relationships, so hotel belongs to a city, and hotel has many bookings. So the most straightforward way, but wrong way to do that, is in the controller just load all the hotels, and in the blade do something like this. So hotel name, city name, and bookings count. And then the page is loading really slowly, so if we open our debug bar, there are 1000 database queries performed. Overall time is 3 seconds, which is not really terrible, but if you have like hundreds of users on the page simultaneously, you will have a problem. So 1000 queries, because there is a query for all hotels, and then whenever you call hotel city name, and it actually even shows the debug bar in which view it is called, it is firing the city, then firing another city query and all of that. And then whenever the bookings are called, so bookings count, it is firing the booking for each of the hotel. So basically one query for the hotel and then two queries for each of the hotel. And if you have a thousand hotels, there will be two thousand queries. And not only that, the amount of models processed is pretty big. So this is how many models are in the memory, eloquent models in the memory for that script. And that takes 66 megabytes of RAM. So the first problem that we should fix is not to load the relationship in the blade. Instead, we need to load them in the controller or whenever we load that relationship. And the correct way is hotel with and we load the city as the relationship and we load the bookings. And I will show you with count in a minute. So we'll load those in the relationships and let's see how it goes. Refresh the page. Three queries. 154 seconds. So twice as fast. And probably something is taken by web server, my local or something like that. But the queries are really, really quick. So milliseconds and milliseconds. Because what happens, instead of one query per hotel, there's one query for all the cities that are involved in the hotels, and one query for all the bookings. So great, we fixed the amount of queries, right? But it's still pretty slow, 49 megabytes of RAM, why? Because the model's amount didn't really change. We're still dealing with 20,000 bookings, and that still takes a lot of RAM. And now look what happens if we see 20,000 more bookings. I've prepared a seeder that seeds 20,000 more bookings. It takes quite a lot of time, but still. Okay, great, now we have 40,000 bookings, and let's refresh the page and see what happens. Remember, 20,000 models and 49 megs. Now we have 40,000 models, and they all take memory, so 81 megs of RAM. And if we go even further, like 100,000 bookings or 200,000 bookings, what you end up with is running out of memory. So now I've seen 160,000 bookings. I refresh the page. And it's not even loading at all. 500 error on my local web server. Or another error you may see is trying to allocate memory something and running out of memory. And that's because you're loading all the thousands of bookings in here, although what you actually need is the amount of bookings here. And this is where with count pays off. So instead of loading all the bookings for city, you do need the cities, and there are not that many of them, but bookings should be loaded in a different way. So you're loading with city, and then with count of bookings. Let's reformat that, and in the blade it changes to bookings underscore count, 
like this. We save and let's refresh the page. Blazing fast, right? 0.4 of a second and 18 megs of RAM, which is still quite a lot, but still much lower. And in fact, we have only two queries, not even three, but two queries because it's combined. We select all the hotels and the count of the bookings per hotel. We don't deal with all the bookings model, with all the bookings data. We don't take RAM, we don't take memory for that. It's all in one database query and in hotel model inside. So we're not saving bookings at all, but the result is the same. So to summarize, my idea and thought is this. Query only the data that you will actually need. If you need only the count of something, query only the count. So when optimizing the performance, look not only at SQL data and the amount of queries and the individual queries, but also how much memory is your script actually taking and how much data it is saved inside your PHP script. And if you want more videos like that, you can support this channel by doing one of two things. Enroll in one of my courses at laravaldaily.teachable.com or use our Laravel Quick Admin Panel Generator at quickadminpanel.com. See you guys in another video.